Hello my soccer universe, the Premier League is getting underway Friday evening and so it is again time for me to ask some important questions ahead of the season. The first question of course, will we see an end of an era and we can go at this from two angles. A. Is Arsenal ready to finally supersede City? They had two campaigns where they pushed City, in the end City always kicked into the next gear and won the title. However, last time it was already really 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 tight, Arsenal have made some smart transfers, whereas City have not added that much and lost Julian Alvarez in the way, although you know transfer market is not over yet. However, there's another way of looking at this at the end of an era. Guardiola has already been hinting that oh, he He's closer to the end than to the beginning of his City tenure. Is he stepping down after the season? How about the 115 charges? Might we see City getting relegated? You know, maybe there's an end of an era at the end of this season. Arguably England's two biggest club both have bald Dutch managers. Will they start a Dutch revolution finally in the Premier League? We of course have Arne Slot taking over at Liverpool after a relatively successful stint at Feyenoord where he got a championship, he won a cup, he also went to the Conference League final. He seems like a good appointment to replace Klopp. How we all know how hard it is to replace a charismatic manager as previous examples have shown. One of these of course is United where Ten Hag got extended and is getting in some of his former players. They also add Xerxes from Bologna, which is a very exciting Dutch signing as well. If the squad could stay healthy, I can see United doing some damage. However, you never know. On to the basket case among the top teams, Chelsea. And I'm not saying this lightly. They bring in Maresca after he's done a great job in getting Leicester promoted back to the Premier League, giving him an extended contract in preseason. Defensive worries for sure, especially when it comes to playing out from the back. But there's also a whole lot of young talent. Can Maresca shape them into a team or is it just too inexperienced of a manager? In addition, you know, the transfer business is not going that great. You have a bloated squad that already took down Graham Potter. So yeah, you need to trim the fat. But the signs on that are not that good. I mean, look at the busted deals with Atletico Madrid and now Joao Felix and the Portas. Oh man. Not too long ago we were talking about top 6, arguably we have now a top 8. The Premier League behind the top 2 slash 3 City, Arsenal, Liverpool has a really deep field that could all make it into the Champions League. Last year it was Villa, the year before it was Newcastle that joined now these top clubs and ended up in the Champions League. So the question is who will be top 4 and again there could be a top 5 if English clubs perform well, which they haven't done last season. I mean you definitely look at Villa who have not a Champions League to compete in. We look at for instance at Spurs, we can also see Newcastle making a bounce back after a really down season with loads of injuries. Or is there a surprise package as well that can bump into the top eight if you would like. No doubt, at the end of last season, Crystal Palace were the most entertaining team. However, they are losing many big players already. And so, of course, the question is, can Palace push on and be again a menace for these European spots under Austrian prodigy coach Oliver Glasner? I personally, of course, wish all the best for him and I hope that Palace will push on. But it all remains to be seen. The Premier League is a true shark tank. And then there's of course the specter of PSR. Which team will be hit? Well, we talk already about one of them with Manchester City who are facing 115 charges might get deducted points if not relegated. However, that process has been dragging on. There are other candidates for PSR charges. First and foremost, newly promoted Leicester most likely will be hit and this might actually mean that they would go down again. We also look at Chelsea whose spending has been really crazy and PSR is really trying to cut back on that stuff. And how about the two teams that got punished last time around? I hope that Everton will not be punished again. However, for Nottingham Forest, I'm not so sure. And then there's always the wildcard. Newcastle? Maybe. We gotta see. Now, as a first attempt at answering these questions ahead of the season already, here are the projections that my model spits out. Again, all these numbers are based on the ELO rating and also on the odds by bookmakers. And 
It's Manchester City. The ELO rating keeps them even high up there. That should be considered the favourites, but Arsenal are close. Closer than they were last year around. Liverpool already stepped down a little bit and then it's Chelsea. I was also surprised about that one. But yeah, Chelsea is in the top four with Spurs and United very, very close in fifth and sixth. And given how the European season might pan out, one of these could make it into Europe. Then we see a slight bounce back of Newcastle. It may be enough for European spots, whereas Aston Villa will probably struggle with European competitions. That's basically it for Europe, as you would expect. It is eight teams for six spots in Europe, and maybe there's a seventh one in there. However, we have Brighton and Palace. Those are the two teams that the model says are most likely to break into this top echelon. If we go on the bottom, Everton sitting kind of low, as does Nottingham Forest, and Forest are definitely more relegation threatened. Leicester, Southampton, Ipswich Town, you know, the three promoted teams plus Forest. That's probably the relegation picture right there. Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!